All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kevin again with Yurkit Racing. Uh, we're back in here again today on our time and pointer bracket for our LT1 Camaro. It's a 97. We just finished the rear mount radiator setup in it. If you're into that kind of thing, hop over to the channel, check it out. Let us know what you think. Um, today is all going to be about finishing passes on the bracket and trying to get that uniform appearance um, where we don't have weird shapes and stuff across the face. I think we're pretty good. I like what we came up with. Hopefully you guys will too. Drop that down in the comments and let us know also what you think. Um, if you will, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as we're learning more with this CNC machine. I'm hoping we can bring you even more cool stuff along the way. So without further ado, guys, we're gonna jump in. Let's get it. Okay, so that time I didn't start, um, I didn't run the program deep enough and also I wanted to edit the file because it left a little bit of a, of a lip on this outside. So I edited that to hopefully take down that part of it. Um, but mostly the mistake I made is this side was higher than this side. So I zeroed the part over here on, on this top side where it's higher, the material was higher. And really I need to zero it over here on the other side should be good so we'll zero probe it there guys so we ran the last tool path it didn't really um, get us exactly the results we were looking for so went back drawn it up again got something else in the works this one is called a scallop cut um, basically we're going to try to run it at two or 0.2 millimeters per minute um, let's see how it goes Okay, so that looks really cool, but it did not chamfer the edges at all um, like I thought the program would do. So not really sure why it didn't do that. It kind of looked like it did on the computer, but maybe I need to radius the edges even more. Um, but anyway, it does look really cool, so that's a plus. All right, so we went back. We got a new file started for the 3D adaptive cut. That should give us our contours on our edges from what I've been uh, looking up and researching on. So we're getting ready to hit the send button and try that one now. All right, guys, I really hope you're enjoying the video. Just want to take a second to invite you over to Yurkit Racing Spread Shop, where you can find all sorts of merchandise. You name it, it's probably in there. So go over, find you something you like. Every order you place on this site is great. kind of see what we came up with after the last pass we just did um, it still left a little bit of the tool mark from the pass before it uh, it's basically because we don't have any stock left really on it it's just kind of retouching the surface on that one so we're gonna go ahead um, drop down again it didn't it gave me a little bit of radius on the corner but I went into the system and added some more radius to the edges of everything just to get it a little bit more uh, round over 
I like I think it would be a little bit better in the end so we'll get ready to run it with that new path and see where we're at after that. SD card in the camera it malfunctioned we lost the last probably four or five attempts at cutting the pattern that we wanted it to go in and having that finished look so missed a few passes on it but no big deal really basically what we came up with um, I'm gonna show you now is like a sunburst type of pattern it's the best I could come up with to make this thing have that uniform appearance everything else would have some kind of weird you know it would start out in a circular pattern and it would expand out and then all of a sudden it would start doing some weird squigglies that's not really what i was looking for um and then we once we moved over to this everything we were able to get everything across the whole part to be you know directionally kind of the same um you know have the same pattern basically across it but when we started cutting it the way that the program is for this, you know, the bit size is only an eighth inch. So you have, it goes in angles, degrees of angle. And if you open the angle up too much, which is what we had to start with, it will actually leave grooves on the part. And so that's what it did. Um, tighten it up like three times, four times, something in that neighborhood. And finally, we got it to a point where our angles were close enough that it actually made it smooth. So that's what we ended up with here. We got all the angles smoothed on it. Um, really happy with it. Like I said, it looks pretty cool. And then we went back in, and hopefully you can see, and it'll show up in focus. Not really sure if it will or not. But uh, we put the logo back in it. And honestly, I did that a little too deep as well. Like I said, we're still learning, guys. But... That's where we're at. That's what we got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you like what we did. Leave it down in the comments. Let us know how that looks to you. Um, or if you have any suggestions about another type of finishing cut that may give us a different pattern that we might like even more. Um, drop it down in there. We look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Peace and God bless.